BBC News with Eileen McHugh. The UN Secretary-General Antonio Guterres has said the people of Afghanistan face perhaps their most perilous hour. He was speaking at an emergency aid conference in Geneva where he said more than a billion dollars had been pledged for the country. The UN Human Rights Chief Michel Bachelet says gross violations continue to be perpetrated by all sides in Ethiopia's Tigray conflict. She warned the country risked being torn apart and accused Ethiopian government forces and their allies of killings, sexual violence and mass detentions. Peru's defence minister says the body of Abimael Guzman, the former leader of the Shining Path rebel group, should be cremated to stop his grave from becoming a shrine for extremists. The 86-year-old, who led a bloody insurgence in Peru in the 1990s, died in prison on Saturday. Opposition activists in Russia have reported further restrictions on independent information in the run-up to the general election this weekend. An aide of the exile Kremlin critic Mikhail Khodorkovsky said the telecommunications regulator had blocked their website, giving information about candidates. The former Danish immigration minister Inger Stoiber has told an impeachment trial that her policy of separating some married refugees was aimed at preventing child marriages. 23 couples were forcibly parted in 2016, a practice later declared unlawful. A UK-wide programme of booster vaccinations for COVID-19 is to be announced on Tuesday. The BBC has been told the booster dose will initially be aimed at people aged over 50 and will be provided by Pfizer. And a fake press release purporting to be from the US retail giant Walmart has caused turmoil in the market for the cryptocurrency Litecoin. The value of all cryptocurrencies shot up in value after news emerged that Walmart was going to start allowing customers to use Litecoin. BBC News.